Hey guys, STL Ammo Man. I'm just uh, reloading a little bit of uh, 380 Auto for my uh, for my Sig uh, P238, and uh, take it apart. I like using my barrel for the plunk test. So, um, and uh, let me go back to the press here. So I've got my uh, die set up. My uh, seating die I've already uh, resized, primed, and all of that. Um, I'm using Bullseye. And then I'm also using some berries. Oh, sorry. Oh. There you go. So I'm going to try to put you up here on this little dealio here. Hope that works. And I'll be seeding a few bullets. Now, what I'm doing is, you can see my little things here, my little pieces of paper. What I'm doing is I'm testing, load testing. So, uh... I've got 2.2 here, 2.2 grains, it's 50 of them, and 2.6 grains here, uh, 50 of those as well. Now, ideally, I think this is a, a little bit more than one would need to do to load test. Um, I've always done like two magazines um, of uh, each increment and take to the range and, and see how they perform. So, um, but I had pretty good... Uh, background information on some of the other stuff I've already loaded for this for this gun and uh, so I think I'm gonna be fine with these two uh, these two ranges here so um, so I'm feeling confident about it but um, ideally like if I'm gonna do 2.2 I do I, I do double magazines at 2.2 then maybe 2.5 and then 2.8 and maybe 3.1 or whatever the top end is I never really go above like three quarters to the top I start normally uh, at the bottom, maybe two tenths of a click up from the bottom, and keep it in that zero to sixty to seventy percent of the range of that powder for that uh, projectile and caliber and all that. So, um, I'll uh, I'll get done here loading these and uh, show you what they look like. So, just a little quick video. Um, doing this at lunch today, so be back in a bit. All right, this might be a little bit better of an angle. So, it's kind of chilly out here, but uh, it's warmed up a little bit here in St. Louis. So it's high of like 60-something, it's like in the 40s right now, but, you know, it's not bad. I didn't uh, flare these quite enough, just enough, so I think we're going to be fine. I don't like to flare them too much just because it uh, it bothers that brass too much. A little bit of belling there. I might have to go back and flare these a smidge more. Stay tuned, folks. All right, you all. So I spot, I've got uh, about a quarter of them done. What I talked about is the um, the plunk test. So it's my 380, and uh, you guys can see that maybe with the light. But uh, I just drop these in to make sure that they, first off, have enough crimp to um, to drop in there well. And that still might be a little bit long. They chambered fine when I put that in there. But um, you're just making sure it slides in there and doesn't get hung up there at the top. So uh, I've got about 70 more of these. Um, but uh, I'll show you the end product here in a minute. And... Uh, be back in a bit. All right. I'm not quite done, obviously, but I'm going to go at least load up several of these and make sure that they... I like this SIG. It's great. It's... Um, I got a really good deal on this thing. It was slightly used. Crimson Trace on there. I got it for $5.25 with a... Uh, DeSantis Nemesis holder or a holster, three magazines, and uh, you know, 525. I thought that was a pretty good deal, farms list. So, but let's see if they uh, let's see if these chamber. Oh, yeah, good. Pop it out. Let's try the next one. Good to go. And then lastly, let's do three. Good 
They look good to me. Everybody, you have a good day. Keep warm and live free.